All right, so what I'm going to do is show you how to uh, solve and graph this system of equations by, uh, by using our slope-intercept form. So to do slope-intercept form, we first need our Cartesian coordinate, which is going to have the y-axis and the x-axis. And we're going to use the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Now, when doing this, the first thing we want to do is you know, identify the y-intercept. So the first equation, my y-intercept is negative 4. So I'll go down negative 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to make a nice big dot there. And that's the y-intercept. That's where my graph is going to cross my y-axis. Now, to follow the slope, I always like to write my slope as 3 over 1 uh, and even 6 over 1 for the other slope. Because remember, the slope is the change in y over the change of x. And if you don't have it as a fraction, a lot of times we kind of forget about that change of x. And also, a lot of times we use the rise over run there, uh, method as well. So from my y-intercept, I'm going to use this slope, which is going to tell me to go up. To change in y is positive 3. That means I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then over 1. And I'll do that one more time. 1, 2, 3, over 1. Now, again, you only really have to do two, you only have to do this twice to be able to create a line. But I'm just going to go and do that twice just so I can make sure I have all the points that would possible to make sure I kind of have a really exact line. The next one has a y-intercept of negative 8. I think I might have to go a little bit further down. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But now this one, so that's at 0, negative 8. Now this graph, um, or this equation, has a slope of 6 over 1. So now I'm going to go up 6 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over 1. Now again, they still haven't crossed yet, right? And then I'm going to do 6 over 1 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then over 1 again. Okay? And when doing that, what we can see is these do cross, and even though I know I can't really draw a great line, but they do cross at some point between 1 and 2. And where exactly is that point going to be? So one thing we can do is we can set them. We see that they intersect. It looks like they intersect you know, right at, at 0. So one thing I can do is set these two equations up together. Now, I'm breaking kind of the mold because I don't really have a great uh, graphing um, feature in here. So I'm going to set them equal to and see, see, see where, when are these equal to each other um, that I can solve. So I'll add 4 to both sides. And I have 3x is now equal to 6x minus 4. Subtract 6x, subtract 6x, and I get 3x equals negative 4, or negative 3x, divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. x equals a positive 4 thirds. Therefore, at 4 thirds, you can see that these both are going to intersect each other. Now, what I want to do is just verify that 4 thirds is also going to make these set equal to the same value. So I'll do 3 times 4 thirds minus 4. And same thing as 6 times 4 thirds minus 8. Well, here, those are the out, and that equals 0. 6, that's going to leave me 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So therefore, my intersection point is going to be 4 thirds comma 0. Since they intersect at one point, this is now a uh, um, consistent solution, our consistent system with an uh, independent solution since they only intersect once. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that's how you find the solution. Thanks.